Did you know today is Ron Donahue Day in Pittsburgh? In just over an hour from now, artist Ron Donahue is about to receive the official proclamation declaring it his day. Ron is with us this morning along with Joy Sato of Pittsburgh Center for the Arts to explain why he's being honored and how the celebration continues this weekend on Sunday. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Congratulations. This is such a big honor for you. Mm -hmm. It is. Uh, sometimes I think it's a little corny, but I'm so honored. It, it really is. Well, sure. It, I'm sure it's like, you know, a proclamation in front of city council, but it's still, it's such a big deal. And why was it so important for the city to honor him? Ron has been doing what he does for 30 years. At the center, our number one goal is to sell art, to make art, and to support our local and regional artists. And Ron's work is synonymous with that completely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, from the plein air style, doing the 90 Pittsburgh neighborhoods, how did, how did that project get started? Uh, I saw a woodcut map of this city that looked like a divided amoeba in my daughter's apartment. And it just occurred to me that I'd, I've never been to places like Ferry Wood and New Homestead. And I don't think a lot of Pittsburghers have either. Yeah. And uh, because they're not easy to get to. So the idea sprung that I should really get to know Pittsburgh better. And so I decided to do it alphabetically so I would transverse the neighborhoods. Well, I think even too, people hear the Hill District, but they don't know that there are multiple neighborhoods right. in there's, the Hill District. They're subdivided. Right. So it was quite an experience, and I really learned that everybody feels that their neighborhood is special. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, and so um, I don't know if it was leading up to this, but in addition to the book that you created based on all that artwork, you're also doing, you've also created these note cards, yes. and these are limited edition. Yes. Tell us a little bit about what you did here with these. Well, uh, we selected 20 scenes of the 90 neighborhoods that were our favorites and decided to do put together a group because this is, project has really resonated with a lot of Pittsburghers and they've been asking for these. So as part of this celebration, it was Joy's idea to, to do this and she nominated me and we kind of cooked up this, this project mm -hmm. together. Well, and what I love too is on the back, there's just a little note about what the scene was like that says this was done during the time of day when the last light bathes the earth with a warm sweet glow how poetic of you <laughs> well i'm not a writer but you know the the captions do allow me to give a narrative of why the paintings were created and mm -hmm. what i felt at that particular moment and so where is your artwork taking you now what what are you doing these days uh, i'm doing a series of paintings uh that is will open on okay. sunday at the pittsburgh center for the arts from one to to four and that's a free to the public and it's really Pittsburgh scenes I wanted to dig deeper into my neighborhood of Lawrenceville and uh, so much development has happened that the development scraping away some of our history right and so I wanted to go deeper into to documenting the the, the neighborhood yeah and I think as we're seeing some of your new yes. work now and so tell us what we're seeing here in some of these images uh, that's Butler Street in Lawrenceville that's where my studio is located uh, that's Butler in Maine and uh, that's, that's an alleyway right there, a scene from Natrona Way. I spent about a, a month last summer in one alleyway just creating paintings from that one little alleyway. Well, and I didn't really understand what this was, but describe to our viewers at home plein air style. What, you're actually standing out there in Correct. the street painting these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it, it's really very simple. It's just being in front of nature, uh, making a painting right there on location. Yeah. That's really all it is. It's just a fancy word. It's a French word for in the open air. And do people stop you and ask you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hear I'm interrupted quite often, and I get a lot of crazy stories. I'm sure you do. Every, but maybe that adds to it. It really does. It's a lot more interesting than being in your studio. Yeah. Well, Joy, can you tell us what's happening on Sunday to celebrate, Ron? Yes. We're so excited. Max and Peggy um, King are going to be there to introduce him. They are the couple that helped him to start this when he, when the seed of the idea needed to be germinated and start to move. Mm -hmm. Ron went to them and that was his inspiration. We have um, Texture, uh, Contemporary Ballet will be there performing. Wow. Also a wonderful um, uh, woman from Spain. Her name is Gail Langstroff who says of Ron's work, his brush transforms our landscapes into sacred sites. Wow. You know, I mean, her That's words pretty. are just beautiful about him. We also have uh, Derek Tynes and the Lemington Gospel Chorale. We have uh, Mar Marnie Quick, who is a soloist and a top, she's an up and coming artist. I'm sure at some point she'll be here because I'm she's sure. so beautiful. 
but we are expecting the community and we already have over 200 and some RSVPs. And it's free. We and should, it's free. It yes. is free. We, yes. we see it as a community event uh, celebrating uh, Pittsburgh and the center has been great because I I was a student there, I taught there, and I exhibited the 90 neighborhoods. So, and since they nominated me for this award, I'm so grateful. And I, I want the, the community to come and, and celebrate with us. Yeah. Well, thank you both for being here. Congratulations again. Thank you. You truly Heather. deserve it. Yes. And celebrate Ron Donahue Day all day today. And then come to the Pittsburgh Center for the Arts on Sunday to see his work in person. It's a free party from 1 until 4. Get more details on the party and Ron's art at kdka.com slash PTL.